Hey everyone. Okay, quick update on the four-wheel drive build. As you can see, it's uh, standing up in the air, straight up and down. It's actually uh, holding itself up pretty good. I've got no braces on it right now. While it's up, I'm actually going to remove a few things I don't need. And it's time to get rid of the uh, mock-up transaxle. Basically, this was only in here to keep the uh, frame nice and straight and true while I was welding it in. It's all welded in from the top. I just got to grind these welds and I got to check make sure I didn't miss any spots, which I know I did. So I got to clean them all up and uh, do a little bit more welding on the top side. But main reason why it's up in the air, besides removing the mock-up transaxle, I'm going to come in from the underside and do all the welds. Up in here, uh, down in here on both sides, and no, I did not move it. It's actually at the same height that it was at. Um, I didn't like it initially, but it kind of grew on me, and a few people gave me a suggestion on just raising up the back end, which... I had that, had that idea anyways, so I'm actually going to take that idea and take that suggestion and just raise the back end up to match the front, and in the long run, it's actually going to make this tractor more capable. So this tractor is actually going to be lengthened, and it's actually become, going to become a two-seater. I wish I could go a side-by-side, -side, but I don't have the uh, means to drive it through my gate having a side-by-side, -side. so I'm going to make it a... Uh, I don't know what you'd really call it. Basically, I'm going to add a second seat behind the main seat for Emily. And she can come riding with me a lot more often. So, that's that's my idea right now. i got another fender I can use. All I'm really going to use is just this top half here. I'll figure out something. That's my idea, at least. That's what I'd like to do, at least, with it. And uh, make, it a, make it something like that. And then behind her seat, there will be the toolbox. So it is being lengthened, but it's not going to be nowhere near as long as the uh, existing truck. And it should actually work out in the, in the long run. So that's where I'm at right now on this. I'm going to pull out that transmission, or what's left of it, the case. i got to cut these off here. I'm not getting caught on them as of yet, but I'm worried about getting caught on them. Got to get rid of them. That's just where the, uh, exist where the original frame was on the old four-wheel steer. If you remember, this was the front right here, and this is the existing, the original back right here. So I just basically welded it in like they crashed into each other. So, but that's pretty much where it's going to sit. Also for the drive, I'm going to do a separate video on the drive talking about that. I got a few different ideas, an easier way and a harder way. And I might end up taking the easier way, not just because I know the haters, what the haters will say, but this easier way of doing it, less uh, mechanical, less uh, linkages to worry about, less worried about of a breakdown, so on and so on. So it will actually work out in the long run a lot better doing, the, doing it a little bit easier way. So that's where I'm at on this right now. And uh, stay tuned for next update on when we talk about the drive. I'm not going to update on the welding, I just thought I'd do a quick update on this in general where I'm at and that I'm not just sitting around not doing anything, unlike some people. So I'll talk to them later, please be right next like always and uh, please drum comment.